Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would share with you my basic Victoria sponge recipe. So I'm no expert, but I have made a fair few cakes in my time. So yeah, I just thought I'd talk you through how I make it. I've got some family coming around tonight for dinner, so I thought that would be a really nice pudding. And everybody seems to like Victoria sponge cake, so I thought I couldn't go wrong. So hopefully this can help the beginner bakers out there. If you do enjoy the video and you find it helpful, I would love it if you could give it a big like and subscribe so I can get past the 20 subscriber mark. And if you do enjoy the video, then I can make more baking content. But with all that said, let's get into making the cake. So the recipe I'm using is 225 grams of everything. So self-raising flour, castor sugar, butter, and then four eggs. So I will link the whole recipe in the description below so it's easy to access. So for the cake, I've got 225 grams of self-raising flour, 225 grams of caster sugar, 225 grams of stalk. So I just use this stalk. This butter is for the um, buttercream, so I'm just gonna ignore that for now. And then I've got my four eggs. And then I also use baking powder. So for the cake, I'm going to do buttercream. The traditional Victoria sponge would be like whipped cream with strawberries, but personally I prefer buttercream. My nana prefers cream, but I thought, <laughs> I'll do the buttercream instead. Um, so yeah, for this recipe I'm gonna be using buttercream, but you can use whipped cream. So I'll just show you what I use for the buttercream. So I've got 340 grams of icing sugar here, and then this is the butter to go with it, which is 150 grams of unsalted butter, which is this one. So for the cake, I use the stalk, but for the buttercream, you need proper butter. And then over here, I've got my two eight inch cake tins. So I've just lined those with a bit of greaseproof paper. Excuse the tins, they are quite old and battered. So yeah, just line them with greaseproof paper and added a bit of butter. Here I've got my toothpicks just to test the cake when it comes out the oven. So I use this large Large palette knife to help me get the cake out of the tin when it's baked and I use this smaller palette knife just to level out the mixture when I'm putting it into the tin and also to apply the buttercream and then a spatula just to sort of get down the sides um, and mix all the cake in properly. So to make the cake I am going to be using my KitchenAid which I absolutely love but you can just use your hand and a bowl or a hand mixer just as good as well. This just makes my life a lot easier. Before I start mixing, I'm just going to preheat the oven to 160 degrees. So that's a fan assisted oven. If it isn't fan assisted, it's 180. And I'm just going to use this oven thermometer to make sure that I get the right perfect temperature for the baking. I'm just gonna pop that in now. So first of all, I'm just going to pour my stalk into the bowl. Next is the caster sugar. And then I'm going to beat that for about five minutes on a low speed to start, but then quite high, so that mixes nicely together. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. together nicely that's been beating for five minutes I'm just gonna crack my eggs oh no I've cracked the eggs I'm just gonna pour them into the mixer now so you pour them in one by one and then mix well in between each one that you add so I'm just gonna add the self-raising flour into the sieve so the self-raising flour is in the sieve and then I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. And now I'm just gonna mix it all together on a slow speed. Just make sure you do it slow, otherwise it all flies out the bowl and you don't wanna over mix it either. but as you can see with the mixers it doesn't get to like it's right to the edge so that's what I use a spatula for just to scrape down the sides and give it a good mix all together before putting it in the tins and now it's time to transfer the mixture 
texture into the cake tins. So I like to be really precise, so I measure out how much I put in each tin, but you can just eyeball it if you feel confident enough. Also, a good set of scales is important. These are amazing. I'd highly recommend these salter scales. So let's just turn it on. You can see that. You wait for it to get to naught, and then it doesn't weigh the tin on top, so then you can just start adding your mixture. going to pop those into the oven at 170 degrees C with a fan assisted oven for about 25 minutes but I'll check them about 20 minutes in just to see how they're doing. So the cakes are done, I tested them with a skewer at 22 minutes past and they came out clean. So now the cakes are just cooling on the side, I'll leave them in the tins for about 10 minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack to cool and whilst they're cooling I'm just going to get on with making the buttercream. So first of all I put the butter in the mixer and I'll mix that for a good five minutes just to make sure the butter's really nice and soft. Your butter also needs to be at room temperature otherwise it will not mix in the mixer. The butter has been mixing now for five minutes, so it's time to add the icing sugar. So I'm gonna add the icing sugar in two halves, just again, beating slowly because icing sugar goes everywhere. So I think my buttercream's all done now. So in total that's been mixing for about 10 minutes. So I added half the icing sugar, mixed for five minutes, and then added the other half of the icing sugar and then mixed for another five minutes. So it comes together all nice and fluffy. And I've got lots of mess to clean up now. And then the next bit is really just to decorate the cake however you want to decorate it. So I'm just gonna put it together now. I think I'll just put jam in mine and then the buttercream and maybe sprinkle a bit of icing sugar on top. the video and found it helpful if you'd like to see more baking content then give it a big like and i'll know to make more of it and i'll see you in my next video on monday at seven thanks guys bye